Getting into a top college can take your life from here or wherever you are right now to like here. I'm not kidding. It has happened to me personally and you can literally go from like a linear life to an exponential life. Yeah. So uh, without further ado, here we go. My name is Adit. I'm a second year student at Bitsboa. I have three LinkedIn top voice badges and I have over 750,000 views online. So that's about me. And I'm going to tell you why getting into top college can literally change your life forever. Okay. So in the last six months or so, uh, I have met people like Ashneer Grover, Curious Harish, you know, attended concerts of uh, Vishal Shekhar, Amit Trivedi, Sidhe Mohat and so many other people. And there have been just some, so many amazing things happening on campus. The kind of exposure that you have being in such a college is amazing. Like Nalcon conference was held here. Then recently there was a genome engineering conference which was held here. A lot of talks keep happening. And that's the, uh, you know, on campus side of things. Now, talking about the internal side of things, if there's a big project or something really big coming up and you don't think you're cut out for it, like it's tough. You know, you might think back to a time where you're like, okay, I gave the bits that, which is given by, you know, lakhs of people or thousands of people, whatever. And like very few people get through, okay. So I did that and, you know, I conquered it. I worked hard, I can do it. I have the persistence, I have the, you know, consistency, all of that. So you can think back to a time where you accomplished something amazing and then you will think about the coming obstacle and you'll be like, okay, that's not that big of a thing compared to, you know, Bitsat or Jmain and what I have cracked, this is nothing compared to that. So that's the internal sort of mindset that you get when you come into a, like a good college, be an IIT, NIT, IIIT, Bits, or uh, I think DU, DTU or those other colleges, right? So that's the internal side of things. Coming to the external and like the outward facing thing. A, because I'm a Bitsian, my alumni network is amazing. Swiggy, Bitbasket, Redbus, Grow, all of these companies have been founded by Bitsians. I have their email IDs, like, so all Bits alumni, you can just go, uh, like, in that compose thing of the email part, you can just type their name and you get their Bits alumni email ID. I can email the founder of Swiggy if I want. I don't know if he'll read it, but like, I can email. So that's one of the perks. Secondly, the Bits Pilani tag just in itself adds so much because Bits has a acceptance rate of, I think, less than 1.5%. So like, let me just, you know, give you like a, a idea of what that means. If there are a thousand people appearing in an exam or like thousand people who are trying to get in, 15 will go through. That's what 1.5% means, right? So if you're in those 15 people, imagine you're like the top in some way, okay? Plus like, which doesn't have any reservation, any management quota, any of that. So everyone who's here is smart in some way, okay? be it like, you know, hard work and road or whatever, but they're in some way qualified to be here, okay? So like the friends you make here, the kind of people you meet and the conversations that you have are amazing, okay? I didn't know what consulting was. In Jan 2023, I uh, heard the word consulting and management consulting for the first time. And now I'm a top voice in management consulting. I got into the club, uh, I did a project and a lot of, I'm learning a lot of stuff about it. I made a YouTube playlist about it of shorts. And, you know, I never would have probably learned about consulting if I wasn't in bits, literally, because uh, if there wasn't a consulting club on campus, if there was just like tech clubs and other such things, I would have only gone into tech or only into blockchain or any other thing like that. But because there was a club on campus and because people wanted to explore and do such things, I could do it. Similarly, uh, Worldcon comes here every year for their competition. And I came, I think, second or third in Bitsqua in that competition. I didn't know what quant finance was. But I came second or something, uh, I, I became a research consultant with them. I have a bag, I have a bottle, all of that, the perks. I got an Alexa Echo Dot with that word, huh? And so just this exposure and the ability for you to explore is one of the amazing perks of being in a good college, okay? Another important thing is that your college experience might differ from, you know, person to person, obviously, because it changes from branch to branch, from like locality to locality. If you're from, say, Hyderabad and you're coming to Goa, or if you're from Lucknow and coming to Goa, you know, the distance, how often you go home, things like that will change, definitely. But also the kind of mindset that you have going into it, like I'm going to study or I'm going there to make friends or I'm going there to explore. So the mindset also determines a lot, but just getting into a good college like Bits can literally open up doors like nothing else because it's A, like that tag that you have and it's also sort of, you know, it's past experience that even if you talk about the startup world, okay, there's a reason why so many IITNs, Bitsians and all become founders because uh, VCs tend to sort of trust them more because if you're a venture capitalist and you see like a person who's building a startup who's from Bits Pilani, okay? So you know that, that this guy has, uh, or girl or whatever, has done a lot of hard work to get into Bits in the first place. 
and then after that they're doing something that they want to a startup or whatever so they'll be putting in a lot of hard work and they know how to be consistent they know how to work hard persistence all of that is there because they're a bit sick they've already gotten into which they have that credibility social credibility factor and then it's just a matter of you know they'll help you make money as well and stuff like that so all in all all i want to say in this video this is sort of like a motivational thing for you to study harder and you know work smarter and stuff but try your best to get into a top college because the returns are exponential and it's probably even an infinite roi if you look at it not in terms of placements not in terms of internships and all that but just in terms of the opportunities the exploration all of that exposure the roi might be infinite literally that's it for now